first diamond painting. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Is that um, Hi, Melanie. Or is she on here? Yes. Hey, Melanie. We just been talking for like four or five minutes. <laughs> <sighs> There we go. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Yes. Yep. Oh, yay. Hello. Right, so, uh, Hello. Becky. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Good. Good. The hacker's on. Say hi. Nope. <laughs> so, Melanie, are you getting rain right now? Girl, we, well, okay. So, like, our... City closed down today. Well, not closed down, but they act like it's snow apocalypse because we got two inches. And uh, <laughs> and then um, oh, what was I gonna say? And uh, it is raining a little bit, but they're acting like we're supposed to get freezing rain. Blah 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 blah. They're saying that for us too. I know my husband called a little while ago, and he's just like 15 minutes away, and he said it was raining, but my boys are still outside. Um, at the fire pit and they wouldn't be out there if it was raining so not doing anything yet here okay Either that or they walked in the chicken coop one hey carla hey gypsy. hey carla hi yeah gypsy ah yes i'm here <laughs> oh, i like your i made it in there it, or is it a headband or a hat i like that <laughs> Oh, thank you. I have this. I have about five of these. I love leopard. It's, so <laughs> it's just a headband. You have the best smile, Gypsy. You're just like <laughs> you're, you smile with your eyes. You can with just my whole face. I do. <laughs> huh? hey, Melanie. Yeah. Mine on my top little corner says recording, and I don't know how I did it or what happened. I don't know if it's recording or not. I, I think I'm recording it, and I think it's recording it. on I've my computer. It. I was like, I don't know what that is, but I didn't hit anything. Yeah, I think, I, I don't know. This is all a big experiment. So, hey, Carrie. Hey. <laughs> Are you in your happy place with Curzon? Yeah. Hi, so Mary. He's been asleep in my bedroom all day and, like, now, of course, wants attention. <laughs> He's so cute. I miss having that. Okay, baby. I oh, know she's frozen. Chris frozen? Ella? No, I see her moving now. Hey! Hi. Ella! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh. Hi. Mary's here. Hello. Mary. Hi. Hi. Hey, Ella. Hi, oh, my friends. I love this. Well, there's so many of us now. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Beautiful. Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Of course, you cannot be this meeting. Seriously? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> it is. It's awesome. So what are you working on, Ella? I'm about to start a baby blanket. I just started changing it. That's what I'm working on, too. Oh. 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 So has, okay, so what time is it in everybody's time zones? There's seven here. I'm Eight, on the east seven. coast. Yeah. Yeah, in Oklahoma, it's seven. Eight well, o'clock in the Carolinas. <laughs> yeah, it's eight here too. It's 12 p.m. on Sunday in Australia. <laughs> it's 1 a.m. on Sunday morning with me. Oh, Mary. <laughs> so Mary yes. are Hi, you? Mary. But you're a night owl, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, totally. It, can't sleep worth sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is definitely strange. Carla, you're <laughs> in you're in Idaho, is that right? Or Iowa? Oklahoma. Huh? I'm in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Where did I get Iowa and Idaho? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and what, what time zone are you in? Central. It's seven o'clock. I can't hardly hear you, Carla. I don't is everybody else hearing Carla okay? I can hear Carla okay. I can hear her. Okay, maybe it's just me. Carla, have you caught any babies today? Yes, I have. Have you? That's so exciting. Waiting on another one. Are you in work, Carla? 
Yes. <laughs> Ooh, oh, you're in the computer. You're going to get in trouble. <laughs> Flipping on the job. I think we're overwhelming poor Christy over there. Um, hey, Jacqueline, we can, hey, we can see you. <laughs> um, my, um, I was telling, um, is it Becky? Yes, when we first got on. I'm using my desktop built-in uh, camera, webcam, and I, it's old, so I'm probably going to freeze up a lot. <laughs> That's okay. We'll roll with it. <laughs> but yeah, this, this is nice. So you do EMS dispatch, right? I do it all. I do police and fire and EMS. Wow. So what is your freakiest, weirdest story? Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and when I get asked that, it's really hard to just kind of pick one thing because there's so many. Okay, well, just pick one of your favorites. <laughs> weirdest call. Oh, goodness. I've never had anybody call 911 and ask for a hamburger or anything like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> do people do that? Yes. Yes, we did have one call where <clears throat> she called 911 and her husband or her boyfriend or something took her shoes. And don't run. Don't run. And refused to give her shoes back. <laughs> oh, I hear Jesse. Hey, come, here. come here. You want to say hi? What kind of shoes were they, Christy? Do you know? <laughs> it was her work <laughs> shoe. I just. Hi. 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 Look at them. They're all talking to us. Hi. 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 Oh, they're beautiful. Horrible. Want to go play? Yeah. Okay. Have now, uh, Christy, have you had to help somebody deliver a baby on the phone? Yes. Wow. Oh my goodness. Very nerve wracking. When something like that happens, our admin who are on the other end of the building all come running down and cover as if it's it not really as stressed as it is. Keep it up. Yep. Wow. I can only imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what was that? I was just he just oh, on my yeah. motorcycle. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> not... <laughs> Sorry. My, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tell me where my hubby is. <laughs> um, Miss uh, Becky. Yes. You have a serious yarn problem, honey. <laughs> you just kept going, and I'm thinking, oh, that's not so bad. Oh, that's not, so oh, that is bad. <laughs> well, when, like, I didn't realize it was this bad till I was you know, on this shelf and was putting it in this corner, and then I started counting, and I was like, oh, crap. Yeah. But, I do a lot of charity and I do a lot of, you know, like crocheting for my customers. On the mail stuff, so it's definitely getting used. And I actually have not really bought the last time I really bought yarn was um, for my father-in-law's blanket. So I use most nine times out of 10. If I have, find a pattern that I like, I've got the yarn. So I don't have to go shopping. Whatever okay. makes you feel better, honey. <laughs> <laughs> that up <laughs> I wouldn't either I'm teasing you I would I, I think I said this last time I tell my sisters they roll their eyes at me I tell them that I'm working on my retirement stash because hey. when I might not have the money to buy yarn I'll already have some. I tell they them anyway. you know when when the when the um oh end of the world comes or when the uh, what am I thinking? The zombie apocalypse. Apocalypse. The, yeah, the zombie apocalypse. Thank you. Who said that? Um, I'll have, you know, I'll have all the knitting taken care of and the blankets and everything. You don't know what I mean. It's a post-apocalyptic life skill. Yes, it is. <laughs> so I they'll like be that. foraging and all that, and I'll be, I'll be making blankets. I'll keep everybody warm. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm, I'm making a crochet boob. 
A what? Crochet boob. Crochet boob. Make your boob. You did say boob. <laughs> boob. You, you make them and stuff them and you use them to teach people about breastfeeding. Oh, that's oh, really yes. cool. Yes. Oh, that's brilliant. I have not seen those before. The like knitted knockers and stuff I've seen, but not for nursing, but that's pretty cool. Do you, or do you teach lactation too, or, or do y'all have um, lactation specialists or what? We do have lactation consultants. We all have training to assist people with breastfeeding, but we do have people who like have special certifications. Mm -hmm. I had a midwife with my second born, um, but she was, um, she wasn't like an in-home, I didn't have an at-home birth, I had a hospital birth, but she was with a practice of um, obstetricians and she was the midwife in the practice and it was a really great experience. I loved it. And I had the a nurse deal. delivered Daniel. Uh, he was ready to go and just came way too fast and the doctor walked in and we already had the cord cut and everything. He was like, well, okay. <laughs> wow. When I was a labor nurse, I caught lots of them when the doctor didn't get there on time. Well, the, the neat thing is this nurse, she had been working labor and delivery for three years, but she had never caught one. So it was her first catch, actually. So we go back up there every once in a while and see her and, and send her pictures because he's the one that's getting ready to be 17. I don't know. Crazy. I'm trying to fix my webcam because I feel like my face is getting cut off. I guess it doesn't matter much. We can see your pretty face. <laughs> Which Ella, I love your hair, so cool. by the way. I love your hair like that. Oh, this pull back? Oh, no. Like the I, curls. Oh, your curls. oh, yeah. Pull back like this is because I haven't showered yet today. <laughs> <laughs> Neither have I. But I I'll shower tomorrow for church. <laughs> no, I had a really bad headache um, last night, and I slept a lot today, and I was just like, forget it. They don't care. So, nah. it is what it is. <sighs> But I'm between um, projects right now, and I'm kind of like I don't I don't know what I really want to work on. Like I finished um, this is that um, Infinity, the Chevron Infinity. I don't know if I'm even holding it up right. Uh, so anyway, it's the Chevron Infinity with the Mandala. I love the colors that you've used in that. It's beautiful. It's just a lion brand mandala. I forget the, I got to weave in the end still, but, oh, and do y'all know all I did to close mine? Cause I did not understand how she closed hers. I, I was really struggling with that. I just slip stitch mine across and I liked how it joined. I think it worked out really well. Helene at um, Cabin Fever on cabin fever her her videos she shows how to do that really well it's okay i'll have to watch that but i think mine, mine worked out pretty good it's not not too bad carrie what did you just try on your head <laughs> i'm making a scuddy <laughs> and i was trying to make sure it's deep enough because i wear my hair up like this i needed to make sure it's deep enough to actually cover my ears Okay. I was trying to check the depth of the hood. I'll probably end up doing that a couple of times because I'm getting close to the end. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> forgive my weirdness. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> See that that's what got. <laughs> you are like like having a mirror here. <laughs> Hey, whatever works, right? Well, I figure, you know what? If you're going to put me on a webcam, I may as well use it to my advantage. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Love it. There you go. Mary, what are you working on? Are you working on anything? Hold on. I can't, can't see myself to show you. My fourth hat, and I hate doing hats. I'm absolutely very good at hats. <laughs> I think you think when I make a hat that I'm making it for the Yeti because it's almost too big. <laughs> the Yeti. 
honest to God, that they just Thank end up. Warm heads too. <laughs> That's right. Pardon me. They just end up gigantic. They're they're huge, and obviously, men here in Northern Ireland must have small heads. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say. Oh, have you ever head. tried using like the measurement chart that tells you the centimeters you need to be <laughs> wide? Doesn't work. Huh. Does not. I have tried everything. I have tried tutorials. I have tried measuring heads. I I tried at all and I can't do hats. <laughs> and I can't do the greatest either. I like the uh, knitted hats that are have ribbing in them because they just stretch so big <laughs> so you can make it and it'll fit. But a knitted hat takes ages. Yeah, especially this, when you're doing two by two ribbing all the way around. Yep. Yeah. This hat has only got four um, this the center obviously with twelve double crochets and then three rows of increase and it works out to be for me when I do it, I maybe it's my loose, whatever, I don't know. I'm tired. Seven <laughs> about seven and a half inches wide. And no matter what hook I go to, it always ends up the same. So I don't know. I give up. So well, the, good. They'll take them or leave them. <laughs> so are you all, um, okay, so first of all, they're only going to give us 45 minutes on this Zoom. Um, I think last time they extended it for us because it was my first time. Um, and so I think we'll get 45 minutes. So is everybody okay with me posting this to my channel? Or is anybody not okay with it? I'm fine okay. with that. Okay, so don't don't like talk about your panties and <laughs> <laughs> anything. Uh, not will just, sorry. Will it just post the audio or will it post the visual? Do you know? <laughs> It'll post the video, so no mooning the camera. Okay, Mary, control yourself. <laughs> Can I hide my face because man, I look rough. <laughs> You look fine. I can't see distance, so I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carrie, leave. One time, I will tell y'all the funniest story. One time, um, when I was uh, in high school and I was at my aunt's house and they have this pool and we were laying around the pool and my cousin, who was older than me at the time, she just kept going on and on and on about how she was nervous if she looked good in this bathing suit and then, oh, she looked fat and da 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 da. And I said, Well, I think you look great. And then, like, in about a couple of seconds later, I said, Of course, I really can't see all that well. <laughs> she was so <laughs> mad at me. <laughs> I, just, I was just frustrated. I was like, Come on now. Yeah, I just noticed that Jane's here. <laughs> hey, Jane. <laughs> yeah, Jane, she's here. She's been quiet. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know she was here. Talk to us. I guess it's not picking up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How are you, Jane? You guys have me laughing. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you making? working on? I'm working on the ugly Halloween yarn. Ooh. Past, um, our pastor Susan is nicknamed this yarn the Halloween yarn. So I'm just adding a brown to it and doing a granny sweat. It looks like 70s to me. It is. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to make me work, so I got to go. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye, Carla. Hey. Sorry, I'm yelling at the kids. <laughs> yeah, I almost felt like I should do a chevron. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I remember seeing these done with chevrons. A what? Chevron. Oh, a chevron. Yeah, you could. Do you think I have a yarn problem? Have you looked behind Carrie lately? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know Carrie. Carrie's got it going on over there. Good <laughs> Lord. Let's say, oh, oh, wow. girl, I, 
Irvin. Thanks. And then over there, you can kind of see there's a four by eight storage unit, and that's also full of yarn. Yeah. But it is also a 20 year collection of yarn. Well, I've been crocheting for 23 years too, so that's like, yeah. As I said to Becky, whatever makes you feel better, honey. <laughs> makes me happy. Uh, whatever you need to tell yourself. <laughs> None of this include, you know, my whip wall or the basket in the living room or the bag of cotton in the living room or what's in my study. So if it gets icy nasty, which you probably won't hear, but if it does, I won't have to go buy yarn. I've got plenty. Yeah, yeah. you'll be good for a while. Yep. <laughs> I'm ready for the apocalypse myself. Yep. Yeah. The, the picture of Jane's bed, I just wanted to jump into it with all the <laughs> yarn all over top of it and just roll there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is that what they call yarn porn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, I think you so, said yeah. everybody not to say anything and let... <laughs> I told my husband that one time he was he was like what are you looking at because I was like ooh oh I like that one ooh and he's like what are you watching I said I'm looking at yarn porn <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> best way I can use to describe it hey if the shoe fits right whatever makes me happy right there you go <laughs> There you go. That's so funny. So I'm curious, everybody, I think everybody on here has done the 10 non-yarny things. What was, let's see, what should we say? What was the thing you were most excited about sharing about yourself? What did you want to share the most? For me, it was my horse. <laughs> I loved that. That was so beautiful. I loved your horses. I don't know. I'm trying to look for my paper where I wrote it down. I have it uploading mine here. Who's uploading theirs? Me. I haven't done it yet. I oh. it. Why did I think I saw yours? I don't know who was I was watching then. <laughs> so we just got Ella's goal video finally. <laughs> Ella, can you give us a sneak preview? What's one thing on your list that you can tell us? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at my paper too. Like, what did I write down? <laughs> I wasn't going to tell y'all I'm a mailman because most of you know that already. Or mail yeah. lady. Yeah. I know. I know for me, it was telling everybody that my girls were healthy. That was just, well, that's been the hugest thing for me. So. You you see that from the rooftops, Mary, because that's oh, awesome. My, listen, <laughs> you know, when you go 16 years with nothing but um, unhealthiness, for want of a better word, and they start the school year and you can pick up the phone from the school and not be panicking and palpitating thinking I'm going to the hospital. It's it's huge. It's absolutely huge. So yeah. that was mine. I think for me, the thing that I most was excited about sharing was um, the trip that I took with one of my really good friends to the inauguration. That was so um, just random and spontaneous. And, and I think- a thing usually. Huh? I said kind of like a once in a lifetime thing. Kind of because I didn't even, it was like, it was the night that he was elected. I picked up the phone and I said, let's go. And she was like, what? And it was like, so out there. I think that's why I was, I'm just very proud that I just had, but that's kind of my personality though, is I'm just like, when somebody says no, I'm the first person to say, why not? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and so, um, I was just really excited that I did that and, and that she actually went with me and trusted me because <laughs> she thought I was absolutely crazy, I think, but we had a ball. That's awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. I guess my Obviously, favorite thing with y'all was oh, yeah. my leggings. Was what, sorry? My leggings. <laughs> 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 Where? 
crazy <laughs> leggings for my I love leggings. Wear them all the time. Wear all kinds of different ones, and my customers just laugh. That's and my funny. sister's just like, "What's wrong with you?" Because last Christmas I wore some that looked like elf pants, and my sister was like, "What is wrong with you?" <laughs> you know, I don't know. I'm not normal. <laughs> but we love you, Becky. Nothing wrong with not being normal. I think normal is boring. Exactly. That's right. I agree. I'm drinking my LaCroix again. What's everybody else drinking? South Carolina tap water. <laughs> water. <laughs> Diet Dr. Pepper. Oh, I think we are getting ready to get cut off. I think I do believe. Hang on. The remaining meeting, less than 10 minutes. Can I just say that when I shared any uh, things was very personal and I'm so grateful to the way everybody responded to it. It was just beautiful reading through the comments again on the next day. And yeah, I was just overwhelmed with so much support from everyone. Oh, this meeting going on. <laughs> yeah, we just got, it just said unlimited again. Oh, really? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. I don't know how, but those mystical powers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mary will never go to bed. <laughs> um, um, Gypsy, I felt the same way. Some of the, the comments that I, I got were just, I mean, I sit there and cried reading comments because it was just so sweet because, you know, you think you're weird and sometimes you think mm -hmm. you're alone in things and then you realize that other people are just like you. Yeah, I was really, I was really pleased that I shared what I did because um, sometimes I know a lot of people are really friendly in this community and I sometimes have that niggly voice that says, you know, like, am I worthy of these people, you know, like, and I think if they knew this about me, would they still react to me in this way? Like if they I knew. In my head. <laughs> Yeah, like, and I think, oh, if they knew about all this darkness in my past, would they still appreciate me then? And would I still be worthy of their attention and their time, you know, that yeah. they spend watching my videos? And I think I'm so pleased that I did share that because, you know, the response has made me feel like, yes, well, despite those things, they're still friends. <laughs> and it takes, sorry. It's what, you, it's, it's what makes you real, Gypsy. It, you know, it just, we... I think we all get confronted with the Facebook lives of so many people, you know, the, the highly uh, sanitized, you know, filtered posts on Facebook that we don't see people's real selves fairly often anymore. And to, to be that vulnerable and open and really put yourself out there, it just shows how real you are. And it's like, we all just put our pants on one leg at a time. Yes. Yes. That's right. True. Yep. Very true. I just thought it took some balls to say for you to come out and say it, which was just fantastic. Yes. Yep. Uh, you know, I never ever get nervous. I'm not. I'm not a nervous Nelly <laughs> at all. And I, w I just, as soon as I was sitting in front of that camera, I just started like getting all the. I could see myself, you know, in the screen, and I was just like, oh my god, I'm shaking. I was like, I'm not going to post this video, and yeah. So I'm pleased that I did though. But yeah, it was I'm very confronting here. even for me. Yeah. We are too. Yep. Yeah. Okay, how many of you all crochet your hair into your projects? Big <laughs> 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 strand of hair out. There's more cat hair to human hair ratio though. There's more what? Cat hair to human hair. Okay. In my projects. <laughs> That wasn't what I heard, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I instantly went, you know, what? Gary. <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> I missed it. What happened? <laughs> Oh, oh, what did you do? Oh, she 
snorted. Snorted. Oh, I thought you said she snorted. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. When you said that, Kerry, I couldn't see you, so I instantly swiped over. Like, oh my God, what? Well, I've got a couple videos when I've played them back to edit them. I'm like, because my camera doesn't pick up every word perfectly, it's like, there were two words where it sounded like I was cursing, like high level cussing on my video. And it's like, that is not what I said. I have just decided not to edit. I don't know how to do it. I, it's hard enough for me to sit down and do that, do this, you know, and I just thought, you know what, if something, like Michael coming through the other day and burping, you know, he's in his own home, <laughs> he's in his own home, he does, and, and I'm going to say this anyway, because at the end of the day, if this is um, put on, on YouTube, on Melanie's, you know, like any other man, and if your husbands don't do this, maybe I've got a strange one. He farts in unison as he's walking past. <laughs> and it's almost a tune. And someday you will get it and I ain't ed editing it. And that's just <laughs> my word. Where am I? Mm -hmm. I just edit anything out. I just edit to splice things together. <laughs> I don't usually edit either. But I had to add something in there today because I was like, 115 skeins. And I was like, no, wait, I didn't buy 115 skeins of cotton. <laughs> yeah. Well, I haven't watched all yours yet, Becky. So, uh, as I say, oh, just over a few on there today. Because um, someone had mentioned wanting to see some of my animals. So I did a short little snippet on my <clears throat> animal. Well, I don't think I saw that one. You can see my turkin, my naked neck. And yeah, Jessie, I have never heard of a turkin before. The first time I saw one, I thought that chicken was sick. I was like, what <laughs> is wrong with this chicken? But um, and they're, they're so <laughs> ugly. <laughs> Do what? They're so ugly, what? They're cute. Yeah. <laughs> and one thing, one thing about that funny farm fact here, um, one thing about them, that that naked neck gene is dominant. So <laughs> any of her eggs that I hatch, they're going to have naked necks, no matter what they're mixed with. Okay. Funny farm fact. So is that, it's not a, um, a different breed, is it? It's just a trait? Um, it probably is considered a different breed. Okay. Because I didn't realize there were that many different breeds of chickens. I went to an animal, what was it, a like a chicken stock or something where you can go and buy chickens and goats or whatever. And some of those chickens are weird looking. <laughs> I mean, they've got some tall, skinny, like tall up to your knee skinny ones. And I'm like, what? <laughs> weird. That is very strange. Becky, what is your um, YouTube channel's name? Funny Farm Crochet. Okay, I don't. I'm gonna have to. I don't think I've subscribed. I'm gonna write that down I was, so I can subscribe when we. I was just about to ask the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've seen any of gypsies, and I'm still. I gotta find my pin though, y'all. Funny Farm Crochet. Okay. I'm so bad at putting links in my descriptions. I've got to get better at that. I always say, "Oh, I'll link that below," and then I forget. No, I gotta get a pencil. I don't have one over here. I don't know why. <laughs> I have been pulling out and redoing the same hat brim since we've been talking. <laughs> I cannot get it right. It's all this funniness. All right. <laughs> so, what did you say, Gypsy? Yours was? Uh, Gypsy Rose. Just Gypsy Rose. There's a few Gypsy Rose channels, so if you type in Gypsy Rose Crochet, if it doesn't come up straight away, then it will come up. All right. I've been binge watching y'all since last week. <laughs> Going and watching everybody's. I'm so glad you came back on, uh, Becky. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and Ella. I'm so excited. 
excited. I cannot wait to get my mermaid bag. <laughs> hey, I know something else too. You're what? my partner for the Valentine's Day swap. I am? Yep. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, guess who I got? Who? Mary. <laughs> I can't wait to do it all. I know it's going to be fun. Oh, I wish, I thought Kayla was going to, I thought she might get on here tonight, but I guess maybe not. What Valentine's swap? The one that Dana, Mama. Dana Mama. from Tabitha's Treasures was on, because I got on just a little bit early because I've never done it before. And I think it was around 7.30 and Dana from Tabitha's Treasure was on, but, and she said she was going to come back, but she's not here. I was so... Do what? Sorry. My son was like, are you in here? <laughs> I'm talking to myself. Go ahead. <laughs> so, um, so how do I say this? So y'all could talk to each other before I even came in? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Well, isn't that cool? Because I was a few minutes early. And like I said, last week, I went ahead and got in. And then I just turned the screen off. And whenever you came in, Melanie, it rang. And I just turned well, my phone off. Neat. Yep. I had no idea how that would work. Hmm. So, sorry, Melanie, from Lama Mama, you're my partner. I I got you as the uh, Valentine's person to send to. Unless okay. there's another Mary in Ireland. Then I've got two people. No, no. Nope. Um, the way we that she's done it, you get a different person each. So you don't have the same partner. She's made it so everybody has somebody different. So you have uh, somebody to send to and somebody to receive a gift yeah. from. No, I'm aware of that, but I've oh, already okay. been in contact with, um, oh gosh, what's her name? From the yarn snob something. Oh. She got you? Well, I, yeah, her, her, her stuff was sent to me from Kayla, the Lama Mama. I right, haven't. Your stuff was sent to me, though. Yeah, like I got Melanie, but Melanie doesn't have me. Someone else has me. Oh, yeah. oh God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I get it. So, so you can connect to different people. <laughs> so I'm sending to somebody else, but that. Well, then the girl that I'm sending to doesn't know that either because she thinks. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I I'm, you. <laughs> I'm confused. Well, I don't know. So, you might just let her know that she should be sending to somebody else, probably. Yeah, I'll email her tomorrow. I th I'm nearly sure that she th thinks that. Or have I read the emails wrong? Oh, I don't Mary, know. Who are you sending to? Um. I can't remember the lady's name, isn't that awful? But it's Yarn Snob. Uh, it's Undercover oh. Yarn Snob. Yeah, Undercover no Yarn Snob. Yeah, oh. to her channel. Yeah, undercover. I can't remember her name, but that's who it is. But I could have... Oh, God, i got to read the emails again. I have a habit of doing that, reading... Reading stuff, and it's wrong. <laughs> I'm talking to my yarny friends. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Um, not in public, was it? This is. Check the drive. <laughs> Sorry. Ella, are you getting any snow? No. I think it may sleet, but we haven't gotten any snow yet. Well, girl, I thought for sure y'all get some because you're not far from me. That's we got like two inches. Who is this? Sharon? Hi. 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 What's going I, on? I was sitting in the living room talking to myself. Do you do that often, Becky? <laughs> <laughs> you know, delivering mail. I have been caught singing. I've been caught talking to myself. I've been caught talking to my mail too. As long and as you don't talk back. One time I was digging for a package in the back, had my rear end stuck up in the air. 
And I was saying, no, not you, not you, not you. And I turned around the customer stand and they were just laughing at me. I oh, said, I wasn't going to say anything. I didn't want to scare you. Girl. <laughs> yep. With my crazy leggings on too. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably thinking, what is in that mail truck? Oh, goodness. Well, if it makes you feel any better, my first introduction to my new next door neighbors right after we'd moved in was uh, I had my headphones on and the electric hedge trimmer going and was singing Uptown Funk out loud to myself <laughs> while cutting the bushes in rhythm. And uh, my next door neighbor's mom like shows up out of nowhere as I'm cutting back these like seven foot tall azaleas that haven't been cut in eight years. And it's like, oh, there's a person there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. If you were dancing with some rhythm, you don't have to worry oh, about it. Yeah. yeah, I've been singing at the top of my lungs and um, a head pop up from behind a bush right there at the mailbox. I'm like, oh. hi. Who just joined us? Sharon's on Sharon. here. Sharon, have I, do I know Sharon? I'm trying to remember. I'm sorry. What's your? Ch do you have a channel, Sharon? No, 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 no. I just happened to see this on Facebook and decided I was going to try it. Oh, cool! Oh, awesome. Well, welcome to you. Where Krista's packages yesterday morning? Do what? I think Sharon just won one of Krista's packages over at the Secret Yarnery yesterday morning. No, no, I didn't even enter. No. Different Sharon. Oh. Well, Sharon, it's so cool that you joined us. That's awesome. Thank you. you. I'm trying to get my set. So, you know, I was all set because I'm in California. So it's five o'clock here. Well, wow. and, it, and I was trying to get it all set up to make sure I would be here on time. And then I just, you know, got time got away. And I was like, well, just let me catch a little bit. I want to figure out what's going yeah. on. So I'm trying to get okay. myself done. That is wonderful. Very, very cool. So are you a crocheter, Sharon, or a knitter, yeah. or both? Yeah, I don't know if you can, um, I'm working on some. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that is nice. Um, it's, it's actually, it's the, um, where, where is it? I only got a couple done. You can see this one. It's actually the Mickey Mouse. Oh, I love it. it. Uh, it's just that the black thread, the black yarn is killing me. Of course. I used to laugh at my mama when she would, you know, work with black thread and black cloth. I don't laugh anymore. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> that part, I just, I just try to get all the black part done during the day. So at night I can, you know, use other colors because I cannot do it during the day. I was I'm just doing it at night. I don't have enough light in my room. I was just looking at, I got a 60% off coupon for Michael's and I was looking to see about getting an ot light. You go, does anybody have one of those? I love mine. No, no. You use your 60% coupon. Brand. <laughs> Mary, you hush. <laughs> I'll take care of you. I don't care about no up lights. <laughs> <laughs> You're a trip. <laughs> oh my which god. Which one do you have, Carrie? What size do I have? Which which out light? Um the one that's about, <laughs> about yay big. <laughs> about, um, 14 inches tall from base to the top of the light. But it's got 360 rotation on it. Nice. So I can rotate it around in the room. I was looking at the floor lamp, but the floor lamp full price was like $225. Holy smokes. So even yeah. with 60% off, that's still too hefty for my blood. Now my Joanne still has some that are on clearance for $30 with the color change base on it. Wow. But I should go get that. So what is the special deal with the Ot light? What makes it better than any other LED lamp? It's the, as close to natural daylight as you can get. It's much, it has none of the blue light in it. Okay. 
and it just makes it easier for your eyes to see. I mean, it does make a difference from the LED, like, because I've got daylight LED bulbs in my fan, uh -huh. and you can see how glary that is. Yeah. My alt light doesn't do that. Okay. So it does make a difference, but they are very expensive. Yeah, they are. Pricey. How much are they? Is that uh, price when I've got eighty dollars for like just a fourteen-inch desk lamp. Okay. <clears throat> but when you know, with coupons and stuff, it it can. I mean, like the sixty percent off, I could use it with one of the. You know, if if it's like a hundred bucks, that's very doable. You know, yeah. For a lamp is nothing bad, but two twenty five even with sixty percent off is still not not going to happen. Yeah, that's a major investment. Now, with the fact that you read so much, if you start reading more books versus audio books again, it would be worth it mm -hmm. at that point just to have that good light to read with. But mm -hmm. it they are very expensive. I've always wanted the floor light to uh, go on my sofa so I could put it over my shoulder, mm -hmm. but. That's what I was thinking. I can't justify it for crafting. Yeah. We don't do coupons here at all. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> we nope. don't have them here either in Australia either. Do you all have, how, I mean, do the, the stores, rather than doing coupons, do you all do any other type of incentives or discounts or just regular sales? Just regular sales here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even, I don't have to admit when it comes to uh, yarn or wool or whatever, I, the, the small shop that I get out of, sorry, certainly um, doesn't have, doesn't really do sales. They would do a, a bin with, that's a pound, but it's mohair and stuff, which you wouldn't know, ugh. Um, but anywhere else, no, no sales. You Isn't mohair expensive? Sorry? Isn't mohair expensive? I don't know. I just don't like the feel of it. I think it feels absolutely gross. I mean, it's to, to, to crochet your neck. I think it's weird looking. Turn around. Got me yawning now, Mary. Um, I've already yawning early. Bye. 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 <laughs> sorry, I'm answering a text. Did Jesse just say bye as if it was? Yeah, he rode by on his tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> he is so stinking cute, Ella. And it's so neat to watch him get bigger because I remember when you were starting out and I was watching you and he was so tiny. Yeah, and it's like he has just grown. He's not a toddler anymore. Ah, uh, big. <laughs> I'm going ahead, folks. It's quarter to two here, and I think, by the looks of me, I could do with some beauty sleep. <laughs> you're cute. I think you're adorable. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Right, I'm going to love these and leave these. It was nice seeing everybody. And I'll watch tomorrow to see what you're saying about me behind the back. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. Okay. Take care, folks. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Oh. Bye. Oh. <laughs> where is he? Where is he? I, I want to see. Come here. I want to see. Come here. I want to see you. Oh, Hi. 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 There you see one. Hi, Hello. Jesse. You're a big boy. How many? How many are you? Are you this many? Yeah. You're not four. Let me are see. You let many? me see. <laughs> You're this many. <laughs> like you don't know. Two. Are you this many? Yeah. This many. <laughs> You're a cutie. Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> you have a girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Who is it? A girlfriend. Her? Do you have a, you have a girlfriend? <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Oh, this one. Yeah. 
Matthews. Ella, when's his birthday? And this mama. May 1st. Okay, so he's almost three. Yep. And this yeah. is his birthday. birthday's the first and mine's the seventh. Oh, wow. That's what, what a that great is. birthday present. Yeah. Huh? What a great birthday present. Yeah, I was hoping it'd be closer to my birthday or May the 4th. I just want to open it. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would have been fun. Be careful, you're going to fall. Well, his, See, his if birthday. he was born on May the 4th, you'd have to have named him Luke at that point. Yeah. <laughs> you oh. could have, yes. Or Leia. Or Anakin. Maybe a girl. <laughs> Do you spell Jesse, J-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, or I-E? I-E. Yeah. That's how I his Paul spells it. it. Do what? That's how his Paul spells it, and that's who he's named after. Oh. All right, uh -oh. so I did something. We should play a quick game. What you doing, Dre? Um, yeah, ah, be quiet. Let's see. How about Would You Rather? Anybody uh -huh. down for a game of Would You Rather? <laughs> <laughs> That's, um, yeah, I'm down. Uh, um, okay. Okay. I, I'll, 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 are you ladies? Okay. You. okay. You're good ladies, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's safe to I play. Don't want to off. <laughs> don't want to get off. Okay. Yeah, this is this is a G-rated channel. Family friendly. friendly. <laughs> this is be quiet. No. <laughs> you need to be quiet. <laughs> be quiet. <laughs> you gotta be not. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. You see that glow? What? Then? Come here, get him. <laughs> oh, he's cute, Ella. <laughs> you got me. Well, now with Daddy. Go play a game with Daddy. Okay. Okay. Oh, what a dog. Okay. <laughs> he is so cute. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, would you rather, let me think. Anybody else can jump right in. This is not my show. Y'all jump in if you think of something before me because I can't think of anything good. I'm not good at that <laughs> either, unless I look it up on my phone, but that's what I'm talking to y'all on, so. <laughs> would you rather buy yarn or spend the same money on a fancy dinner? Oh, yarn? yarn? Yeah. <laughs> That's a no brainer, Terry. I love to eat, but I can just eat um, a 82 cent box of mac and cheese and be just as happy. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no. I really like food. I know. I like food too. I like yarn more. <laughs> well, more, but I can make a fancy dinner. <laughs> Oh no, I I I'm, I can't cook. I see you, Mama. I see you. Um, would you rather spend a hundred dollars at Walmart on yarn or a hundred dollars in your local yarn store? If my LYS actually carried anything worth buying, I'd rather spend it there. But they don't care anything good. I don't um, have one super close to me anymore. Um, in Gastonia closed down so okay but just just if you had a really good LYS and a really good Walmart which would you rather do probably Walmart because I make more amigurumis and stuff I don't need I fancy would, I, would, just. I, would I have actually I would. never had the opportunity to shop at a Walmart so I would definitely want I to go help. spend hundred dollars at a Walmart yeah. we, just don't, we don't have them here <laughs> He could get more at Walmart for your money, but I would I give him that black would rather support a small business. I like doing it too, or trying to. It's, it's a tough call. It's a really I, tough call. Depends on who's having a good sale. Because <laughs> if I'm getting a dollar for a dollar, I'm going to Walmart. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to say because your money definitely goes farther at Walmart in terms of quantity. 
but quality, your money goes farther at the local yarn store. So it's like, ooh, that's hard. But well, well, I have an idea. Or as a Migurumi uh, going to Walmart, which you make me sick, Ella, by the way, because I can't do a Migurumi. Well, of course, I haven't really tried really hard, but. That doesn't it's matter. matter. <laughs> it's just a phone. Okay. <laughs> Mine would definitely be a Walmart. Right. Walmart. So much, so much charity work that you know a local yarn shop just doesn't oh. work well. Where'd the body go? Well, yeah, it, it also depends on who you're crocheting for. Like if you're making a specific something for one of your sisters or your mom or something, you might would want better quality versus, like you said, the charity stuff. Um, you can use whatever's on sale and soft. Yeah, and then go on the dirt. Okay. I've almost finished my first ball of this blanket. Mm -hmm. oh, that's pretty. What pattern is that? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> I, was say, I would ask. I'm doing one. Um off of Ravelry, look, you're not gonna be able to see it. I don't know. I think it's called the Super Simple Baby Blanket or something like that. The other side of it. How do you pick That's your colors? supposed to be the right side of it, I don't know. On this one, this is the Karen cake. Oh, okay, okay. I'm terrible with colors, so. It changes color. Oh, that's nice. I like that, yeah. Do you like the caring? Oh, yeah, I guess you do, looking at your yarn stack. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is the doll back here, but um, I just like any of it, really. You got cake in your top corner up there. Above you, and yeah. Yeah. I got you, Mama. Thank you, baby. I do have a question. In your front closet. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. You come. Did, um, I don't know if y'all have seen that video where I got the yarn inspiration mystery bags. Yeah, it came with yeah. it came with a lot of um, I guess it's it's thin yarn. I guess it's like baby yarn. Do can I make? I, I mean, I know I can, but is, do you normally just right. make it with just like one strand of that yarn, or do you double up if you want to make like a baby blanket or something like that? I normally just do one. It depends on if you're wanting to make a thick blanket or a thin blanket. If you wanted it for a baby that's going to be born in the spring or summer, I would just do one strand and a smaller hook. But you could always double up if it's going to be a fall or winter baby and use a bigger hook. I struggle. The struggle is real. <laughs> oh. I, I'm, I want to do some baby blankets because I got a bunch of it. What, to me it looked like baby colors and so I sit down and write out what I need to do and how I'm going to do it. I really want to get organized with right now I feel like um, for this whole last year I have just been crocheting whatever whatever strikes my mood you know it's like oh I think I'm going to do a hat today I think I'm going to do whatever and I want to get more organized so that I'm actually I've got a plan, like I've got some sort of system or something, and I'm terrible. And that's why, Ella, I hope that you do some more um, Ravelry videos, because I know it is, you can use so much Ravelry, and I don't do anything with it. I'm planning on making a bunch more. I'm trying to get them all written out first. Awesome. But, Melanie, there is something that's nice, too, about being able to just make whatever you want to versus feeling like you have a deadline to get something done. Oh yeah. Now I do have those too. Yes, I agree. Yeah. It, there, I don't mind, um, you know, taking commissions or whatever, some, but it, it, it can get to be a lot of pressure when you've got something looming over your head. Yeah. Excuse me, I'll be right back. I'm just going to check on my children, make sure 
they're still alive. Mr. Gypsy's in charge, so <laughs> just bear with me. Gypsy's in charge. <laughs> Jane, are you still with us? Are you hanging in there? She's so quiet. Oh. I think she was just saying something, but we can't hear you that well. And that's the problem with my voice. It doesn't carry well. Oh, mine well, does. <laughs> I think, Jane, it, it sounds like you're really far away. It's not that your voice isn't carrying. I don't think. It just, it sounds like the volume is extremely low. It's all the way up. Huh. That's strange. I don't know. We'll have to see. It'll be interesting to see the playback. Yeah. Hopefully I can get this all working and uploaded to see um, how it all plays back. I can't believe I'm going to put myself out there on the internet looking like this. I am not fit to be seen, Miss Carrie. <laughs> You're always cute, too. Girl, please. Like I said, I end most of my days, especially if I wear makeup, looking like Alice Cooper after a concert. So, <laughs> Do you not wear a waterproof mascara? I don't. I do, but my face is so oily, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm having trouble with extremely dry skin and I I don't know if it's my age or what um, but it seems like in the last couple of years my cheeks and most of my cheeks are so dry that I think if I was to take my fingernail I could like scratch it off and so I, but my skin's so sensitive, I have to be very careful what I use. But I need to get one of those peels done or something. Keep thinking about doing an acid peel because I never thought I'd be 35 with zits all over my face still. Oh, bless your heart. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do that again. I had acne so bad when I was a well, how was I? Maybe 13 or 14. I had it so bad and I thought, oh, I'm so glad that's over. Well, I didn't have any issues growing up, but every time I got pregnant, oh, Lord have mercy, it was bad. <laughs> I never had it while I was pregnant. And a little bit of Becky's business. I am. Um, <laughs> I get very, listen, this is putting stuff out there because you're recording it. Uh, I get extremely gassy too, like the first two weeks. Like, <laughs> and so when I got pregnant with my second child, I knew immediately, even though the test was negative, I knew immediately. I was like, I'm pregnant. <laughs> wow. Now that's a symptom I've not heard of. I told y'all, weird. <laughs> Actually, I have to say, you're not that weird, or we really are sisters from uh, different misters, because, uh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, gotcha. <laughs> I, I'm about three days out right now and I can feel the uh, bloat and gas starting yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure my husband is rolling his eyes right now every time I walk downstairs. <laughs> he has Hi everybody! <laughs> Hi Dana! Hi! Hi. And I oh, just said hi, hi to me. <laughs> Dana! Hey! You made it. I'm so glad you came. <laughs> I, I heard you were here earlier. Yeah, I saw Christy earlier. Oh, that's so I gotta see how this thing works first. <laughs> baby. I just saw Pixie. Hi, Pixie. Oh, Pixie, can you say hi? Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Melanie. I don't need that way to be with you. <laughs> you give away so they can see all you. Here. It's all mommy's crochet friends. Hi, Pixie. <laughs> Say hi, Carrie. Right now. <laughs> and I've got the other one here too. Wait. Say hi, Fate. Hi, hi. Fate. <laughs> yeah, hi, Fate. <laughs> I hear tell Fate is a Potter head. Yes, you love Harry Potter, don't you? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, he's a big Potter nerd. <laughs> but Actually, I'm working on, on right I'm, now. Sorry? Have y'all oh. done a countdown to see how many people are on? 
It, it had a number. It tells the number. Or maybe nine. 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 It says we have nine. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. I love these. Do y'all like this? Yeah, I, I love this. I think it's so much fun. Yeah. It's not like a big crazy. I mean, I guess if we had, you know, 20 or 30 people, it might get kind of crazy, but I don't think I that's going to happen. I see three people. Who else is on? I only see three of you. Yeah. You got to swipe it. Probably. Oh, hi, on. Ella. <laughs> 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 Who else? I'm missing people. Like hi, one, Jane. two, three. Hi, Jane. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Sharon. <laughs> Dana, you're oh, so you hi, Christy. Wait, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you have died if we Ooh, all were <laughs> My husband's probably barricaded in the his room because uh in our room I should say because last week I got off and I went back there and the door was closed. And I said, You don't normally close the door, is it you were one? My voice does carry. So I had exited out and turned off my speakers when I had the, when I switched computers last week. Apparently my speakers turned back on. So my husband heard us the entire time <laughs> on top of sneaking up behind me and trying to scare me. Oh, that's oh hilarious. Yeah, I'm surprised he doesn't come up behind me. I managed to get rid of my husband for the night. He's over at the neighbors watching the game. <laughs> Which game is he watching? The Cowboys and the Rams. Okay, my husband's in there watching, what was it, the Colts and the, I don't know. I don't keep the up. Sheep. It and was the Colts and the Rams. He laughs at me because I used to call it the, the colors of their outfits. Wow. <laughs> the colors of the outfits. <laughs> I'm to use my webcam again to see what this is going to end up looking like. Cause oh, that looks really cute. I love it. I got to figure out because I had to add length on the hood. I've got to figure out how I'm gonna have to leave part of it open on the corner. Are you attaching that to the scarf, Carrie? Yeah. Looks neat. I really like this yarn a lot. It's so pretty. What is it? Hopscotch by Red Heart. Okay. It's really, really soft. It's that fluffy brushed acrylic. And uh, same color. Yeah, I love it. I've got one more ball, and I think I'm gonna knit a headband out of it. Push it down. Have you done a review on it? No, this is for my Laura and Red Heart review. And then I've got Marley Bird, a Thailand story, Lucha, and Italian story, the, the bulkier one. And I'm going to do a high end Red Heart and then a low end Red Heart with some of the ones I haven't seen people talk about. So I've got like. I've never even heard of half of those. Yeah, I mean, you can really on that website. That's why you haven't seen them. It's like the LB yeah. collection from Lion Brand. They don't sell those in the stores. They only sell those online. Oh, no so like Summer was having issues with her shawl being, the yarn was too small for her shawl, but she had never seen the LB collection silk at Walmart, and it's because LB collection's only sold online. Huh. Oh. I like how you're brutally honest with your reviews, by the way. I, do, I, was, yeah, really. watching, I was like, holy cow, listen to her guys. <laughs> well, it's hilarious because um, I've lost her bad review. I've, I generally lose three subscribers, but gain five. For every good review I give, it's hilarious because I lose five and only gain about three. Oh, no, that's that funny, but I would rather you be honest about it. And and really, I'm not going to unsubscribe from somebody because of that. I've been I told why I should be ashamed of myself by two different people. And they ended up coming back and deleting their comments. And I was like, okay. Um, 
Where do you, I mean, oh my goodness, that's crazy to me. Where do you post your reviews? On my channel. Uh, my channel is Carrie Penny on YouTube. Carrie Penny. Oh, okay. I, I'm just learning about the whole channel thing. Yeah. Because um, I go to YouTube to look at, you know, to look for patterns. And then when I start reading more, I find out about how people have their channel. So. Uh. Yeah. Who all else my, has channels? All of us have channels. Who else has channels? All of us. Everyone all, except all you, of Sharon, <laughs> have channels. It's Sharon. Sharon oh. get a channel. Oh, yeah. I can hear you better now, Jane. I played a little. But well, what do you do on these channels? <laughs> what do you do on these channels? We share what we feel like. Primarily uh subscription box reviews and yarn reviews with a show and tell either once a week or once every other week on my projects that i'm working on sometimes it could be just like a journal type you know yeah. you just I just get on so i need to write down all your names so i can visit your channel right <laughs> i am gonna i promise i will gather links and put everybody's link in the description box of this video on my channel yeah, I'm not Tabitha. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, just just go to Stitch My Learn and she'll have all our links. Yeah, Dana, that confused me at first because I was looking on yours and then I was like, somebody called her Dana? I don't know. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> Ooh. Sorry about that. I'm not claiming Tabitha as an alter ego either, so don't don't go there. <laughs> Well, how I, might, I don't know. Well, we'll crazy. Now, what's your past life, right? Right. There you go. You posted this somewhere, but it wasn't your channel. Do you have Facebook pages also? What I did was I posted this video in Ella's group, which Ella, I'm assuming that's okay with you. Ah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, my rule is it just has to be crafty. And um, so, I will post the video again when when this video is done because we're recording it. I will post it to my channel, but then I'll copy the link to Ella's page so everybody can come back and see it. Ella, which page is yours? No catchy name. Oh, okay, it makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> the well, I, just off. <laughs> I just joined your group like a week or two ago okay i don't know why <laughs> no 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 you know it's how on the side they'll they'll talk you know, you give you suggestions mm -hmm. and i joined it and i'm just now all right, I'm totally confused and confusing. And okay, I will look for the link. And I'm so glad I joined. <laughs> You're glad you joined too. <laughs> Even it's though okay. I will never have a channel. <laughs> oh, don't say Is that. that. Okay? Never say no, never. I'll never say I'll never. <laughs> I swear. No. I'll never do it. You never know. Mary I got really it. Never know. <laughs> I was never going to make a channel either. And now it's been a year and a half. Gosh, it doesn't seem like it's been that long. Yeah, um, I had no plans on creating a channel either, so yeah. <laughs> I think Ella's the longest one on here. And no, I remember watching her when she I mean she was in the single digits of episodes. That it that just blows my mind. Yeah, the first ones I watched was Margaret Olander and Randy. And then it yeah. seems like Oh, yeah, Margaret. She has a really good hat chart. You were talking about hat charts earlier, uh, Carrie, I think it was. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking is the one that she's got on her blog. Because that There's one, a, that's what is, I do my freeform hats. So that's what I use as her chart. She is so thorough, and she, I really like her stuff. I love watching her channel. I mean, seeing her youngest son grow up and stuff has just yeah. been hilarious. She's I can't so believe you graduating this year. I oh, know. I've been what watching her since I was pregnant. Uh, I, binge, I found her and binge watched her while I was on yeah. right, uh, bed rest. 
Are you on bed rest, Ella? Yeah. How come? What happened? Uh, I had preeclampsia. Oh, bless your heart. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, but she was the first crochet channel I ever watched, was Margaret. I'm trying to think. Oh, and who watches um, Hectanuga? I watch, I used to watch her all the time. Do y'all watch yeah. her? Yeah, I watched her before. And then um, trying to think of some of the older ones that I've watched. Um, Ada and Stitches. Yep. Who? Jada and Stitches. Yes. Oh, yeah. um, I was going to say Fiber Flux. Jennifer or Fiber Flux is another one. I really like her stuff. She's one of her uh, scarf patterns for a Christmas gift, not just last Christmas. I've watched her a lot. And I do a lot of her patterns. You can go play with it. Bag a day. You can take it. The first spider was one of my first ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spider. The first one I watched was Yarn Hoarder. Yeah. And that oh, yes. Yeah, that's the kind of knit. Now that is That's cute. Amber, I think is her name. She has got yarn like nobody's business. And all of hers is like leading in fiber arts and Lolo did it. And I'm just so jealous because oh, I love yeah. the indie dyers that I'm just in love with. Mm -hmm. yep. I don't know nothing about indie dyers or hand painted yarn. <laughs> nope. Don't. You got poop. You weak. There's a poop in there, really. That's a boy for you. <laughs> He's talking about the llama. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can I got Oh, hot. I've got Goodness, I've gotten pretty far on this. I started that when we started chatting. How long have we been on here? Mm -hmm. Me too. Uh, yeah, good. I used a whole ball on the second ball now. Wow. Oh, yeah. How well the color on this is showing up with the sparkle and everything. But oh, that's yeah, that the Lolo is. did it hand dyed in Beetlejuice from the, her Halloween line. Well, that is pretty. It is stunning cool. and it is luscious and I, I'm. I bought it to do socks, but I just can't bring myself to make socks out of this, so I'm going to have to do a cowl or something. I love her Harley Davidson colorway. I want some of it. Who is it that, who's the dyer? Hey, Who did it? I mean, I'm, um, I got this right. <laughs> I'm gonna find my sock point. I think I put that somewhere else. Crash. We don't be careful. I'm getting this headache. I'm gonna do this. That's what I'm gonna learn in it eventually. I'm a llama. I want the princess. So I thought Brenda from My Pugful Life was gonna be tonight, but I guess she wasn't able to make it. She's wanting to do uh, one of these Zooms during the day, during the weekday, or on a weekday during the day. And so I don't know the details yet, but um, I'm thinking it'll be like midday, 11 or 12, something like that, maybe in the middle of the week. Okay. But I think she's going to host that one. Hi, Daddy. I just finished this. I was looking at that. It's pretty. I love it. Oh, it's so sticky. I have enough, I think, to make a hat. That's pretty, Dana. That's enough to make a hat. I like it. What is it? It's a Red Heart Aaron Fleck. Nice. nice. Yeah, 
Well, ladies, I think that I am going to go ahead and say, if you, should, if you want to stay on, uh, you should be able to stay on. It'll re I, I think once I'm off, it won't record anymore. Um, but my headache is coming back with a vengeance. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Well, it'll, it's something I with think the weather because I've had the last few days too. Yeah, I think it's the pressure. Um, yeah, the I'm, barometric pressure has been driving my head nuts. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I had, I mean, it's been coming and going for two days. Yeah. Um, Do you have any ginger in your house, Melanie? Okay. Ginger. Say over everything. Say over everything. I have um, ginger oil. Yeah. I don't think you need to be able to eat it. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. Be, yes, I do. I have some in my freezer. Yeah, try slicing. If it's fresh ginger, slice it, put it in some boiling water for a few minutes and drink it as a tea, or you can eat it raw if you like eating raw ginger. Um, but it does help with headaches. It helps with that queasiness that comes with a lot of headaches. Hey, I thought it was good for you. I realized it was good yeah. for headaches, too. Yeah, it's great for headaches. I used to drink... Before I gave up sweetened drinks, the Reed's ginger beer was the strongest hey, ginger beer. Um, I, I need to go. I actually forgot that I was cooking dinner. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. So well, I need to go rescue nice it. To you. But thank you very much. I, I really enjoyed myself. Oh, I'm so that glad that you joined you. us. It was very nice to meet you. I hope you'll do it again. Okay, sounds good. You take care. <laughs> Bye. Hi. I don't know if y'all can see, but I have my nephew here with me. You want to say hey? Say hey. Um, my camera has froze on my end, but I have to take him up to Mama and Papa. There he is. Hi. 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 Can say hey? No. But I have to take him up to his uh, Mama and Papa's. He's staying with them tonight. Ah. <laughs> Monica. I will talk to y'all later. Bye. 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 All right. Well, y'all, I'm going to, I'm going to try that. Would you think, um, ground ginger would work too? Or should I have to use the fresh? I, I prefer fresh over ground. Uh, it's just harder to eat the ground ginger by itself. Yeah. It doesn't make as good of a tea. It's not as strong. Yeah, that's true. I think I've got fresh in my freezer. I, you know, you could, you have to buy it in such big knobs. Big chunks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think I bought it, but it's been a while. It's been a few months. Uh, but it's been in the freezer. Yeah, it should be fine if it's been in the freezer. I leave mine in the freezer. Mm -hmm. I peel it, rinse it, and wrap it in a uh, paper towel, then plastic wrap, and stick it in the freezer because I cook with it all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. I but I also keep crystallized ginger in the house yeah, for headaches and stomach aches. And um, okay. I can't remember the name of it. There is another ginger beer that doesn't use aspartame, sweet and low, or sugar <laughs> to sweeten it that's also fairly strong. Because, uh, you know, all that diet soda can lead to headaches. <laughs> This is true, I, and I know that I do. I don't, but I can't help it. My diet, Dr. Pepper, is like, you know, I know, like manna. <laughs> I mean, I'm the same way with coffee, and I'm I'm one of those people. I have the fibroids in my breast, so like the worst thing I can be drinking is coffee mm -hmm. during EMS. And I'm still two to three cups of coffee a day, no matter what. <laughs> You know, this is probably a topic for next time, but it's interesting to me how, like, our, I don't know how I say this, our wants sometimes trump what's best for us. Oh, like, yeah. I know that I shouldn't be drinking a diet soda every day, but it tastes so good. And it's something, like, it's that mental, like, but I want it. It's my inner brat. Yeah. Going, but I want it. I want it. I don't care if it's bad for me. And it's like you can um, withstand a lot of other temptations. But boy, when it comes to like oh, those like cravings, oh my gosh! It's like hello, I'd be skinny if I didn't have cravings. <laughs> so, 
funny. Yeah, I say that, but I actually only eat about 1,500 calories a day, so. Oh, I know. Don't even get me started on how your body just sometimes works against you because, yeah. My body don't love me back. Ah, I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. so. All right, ladies, I'm going to go. I, I'm assuming y'all can stay on. If y'all get disconnected, one of y'all can reconnect or something, or or we can do this again next week or whatever. But I'm going to go find me a cup of ginger tea, and I will talk to y'all later. Night. Night. Good night, girl. Take care. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.